Hey there, everyone. My name is Frank Caron, and I'm a lead technical architect on the Customer 360 platform. I'm here today to tell you about a really interesting little use case that I thought about that does a great job at showing the true power of the Customer 360 platform as a whole. Of course, just a really quick disclaimer in pure Salesforce fashion, please base your buying decisions on what's in the product today. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Now in this use case, we want to be able to have an agent who's working on a call center be able to issue an identity verification challenge to a customer. And ideally, we'd like that customer to be able to respond and have the entire process be largely automated. To achieve this, we're going to use a combination of Salesforce Platform, Marketing Cloud, and MuleSoft. Now I've already gone ahead and built the solution, so let's take a quick look at what the ideal end state would look like. In this case, I'm on a contact profile as an agent at the call center. And to issue a verification challenge, I just have to click one button. Once I've done that, a verification challenge record has been created, and this record denotes that I've actually issued the challenge. In parallel, a message is being sent to the end user, and that message will be delivered to their phone number or to their email, depending on what they've enabled in their account. Now in this case, the customer that I'm talking to actually had a phone number associated with their account. And you can see that my verification challenge has yet to be verified. As the actual customer, I can click the verification link that has been sent to me. And when I do that, I'll see a success message that says I can finish with my verification. As the customer does that, the automation behind the scenes is updating the verification challenge record appropriately to mark it as verified. It's also sending a notification to the agent to let them know the work has been done. So there you have it. Super simple. Platform, Marketing Cloud, and MuleSoft all working together harmoniously. Wait, what? What's actually happening here? Well, as you might imagine, there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than you might think at first. But what's really great about this solution is that I was able to build all of this across three platforms with absolutely no code. Let's go ahead and dig into the back end to see how we actually pulled this off. Now, before I dig in, one quick word of warning here. This is a solution that uses three different clouds. And it's highly unlikely we would ever recommend to a customer to buy these three clouds specifically to solve this one problem. But part of the power of the entire Customer 360 ecosystem is its ability to work harmoniously with each of its pieces to solve this and many other problems for businesses. This is the difference between buying a point solution for this specific problem and using the tools our customers already have to solve this and many, many other customer engagement scenarios. So first things first, we created a very straightforward custom object for that verification challenge. And really the only thing that's kind of interesting here is the challenge URL which is that dynamic verification URL that we're going to send in the text message. And that's a formula field that's just prepending the kind of base URL for that verification challenge, as well as the ID, the record ID for that specific verification challenge record. And that's going to allow us to update that with the process builder or the flow uh, afterward. Okay. The next piece, that quick action to actually issue the verification challenge, this is a super straightforward flow. It creates the IVC object, and appropriately fills it in with the right data and then shows that final confirmation screen to the end user so they know that the message has been sent. The last piece of the puzzle, really, really simple process to actually update the verification date when the status is turned to verified by that callback from the verification URL. And then to notify the challenger with the new notification framework um, that the notification, or sorry, excuse me, the identity verification challenge was successful. So that's pretty much it on the platform side. Obviously, I moved a couple fields around here and there, but for the most part, pretty straightforward to set up. The more involved part is the marketing cloud piece. So here we had to do a bunch of work to kind of set up the SMS Connect, uh, but ultimately the magic is all happening in one journey. So this journey is using an entry event for Salesforce data and basically says whenever a new verification challenge object is created, we're going to pull all the data in and then make some decisions. If uh, the verification object is not already verified, we're going to continue with the flow. Uh, we are then going to make a decision 
if the customer does have a mobile number, uh, we're going to send them an SMS message. And if they don't have a mobile number, we're going to send them an email. And this is one of those examples of something really, really simple uh, in terms of a decisioning kind of criteria that Journey Builder makes really easy relative to some other tools or some other approaches that would require a significant amount more coding in order to be able to achieve the same kind of result. And remember, that's really kind of the primary goal here was to try to do uh, this kind of sophisticated cross-system interaction with minimal coding. And in fact, we've been able to get it to pretty much no coding. Okay, so the journey set up and everything's good, but what about that one verification URL piece? That's kind of the most interesting bit. So what we've actually done is we've used MuleSoft to create an HTTP listener for effectively a, a kind of verification URL. And it, you may remember from my formula field, we're creating that slash verify slash record ID URL, which we then pass to Marketing Cloud and Marketing Cloud then sends in an email uh, or a text message. So what happens when somebody actually clicks that URL is that first we're going to actually receive the payload and capture that verify ID. And we're going to then take that ID as a payload and land it in a custom data type that we've defined. And this data type will basically take the ID and hard code a value for the verified status because we want to say if we've clicked this link then we're going to set that verified status to true. Once we've morphed, or I guess in the MuleSoft vernacular, transformed that data into the new data type, we then map that custom data type to the verification challenge data model, which has been brought into MuleSoft by using the Salesforce connector, which is one of the many connectors on the AnyPoint exchange. Once we've done that transformation, we can actually make the request through the Salesforce APIs with the connector to update the appropriate record. And then in this case, I've made it very simple. We just hard code a response back to the customer to say, you can now close the window. And if we wanted to make this elaborate and have a UI or serve up a specific view, uh, we could do that. So I think it bears repeating what I kind of said at the beginning. Obviously, a customer is not going to buy these three tools to solve just this one problem. But really, this is a great example where customers who already have these tools can achieve something that would otherwise have required a third-party integration partner uh, or potentially a third-party app or purchase altogether to solve for something that was very, very easy, all things considered, to set up with just about no code. That, I think, is a great story for the Customer 360 suite and a great story for the power of our platform. Thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you found it as interesting as I did.